160. He's gone. What's up, everybody? Max Maxworks here, and today we're in the garage to do another tool unboxing and review. Right here behind me, I have the Northern Tool 14 inch dry cut metal saw. Basically, it's a 14 inch diameter chop saw that has a special metal blade in it with little uh, carbide teeth. Allows you to cut through metal uh, the same way that you know just the regular chop saw works for wood. And allows you to get really nice, really straight cuts. Regular MSRP is something like 330 bucks. Frequently it's on sale for about 240. If you add a $10 filler item, you can get a 50 off 250 coupon. So what I'm gonna do uh, in this review is I'm gonna take this apart. We're gonna chop a few pieces of metal uh, just to kind of show you guys how it works and talk about some of the features on it. And then unlike some of the other reviews you might see online, I'm actually gonna use this and then we'll come back after two weeks of, of solid use We'll come back and I'm gonna talk about you know what works, what doesn't, what I would like to see, and so on to give you guys a much better, uh, much better review than just the unbox it, oh shit, it works out of the box. Now, this is the cheapest dry cut that I could find, especially after the coupon, and I haven't been able to find anything that has this kind of power and capacity uh, for that price. Um, so I'm gonna use it and we're gonna see you know how well it stands up to use here in my shop. A return sticker, I imagine. Nice that they, uh, they double box this thing. There's kind of the box. It's uh, item 46461. For those of you who are double checking part orders online, let's uh, open up the main box. So, standard instruction manual. Inside of here we have what looks like uh, a couple of Ant Allen keys, but it comes with two additional brushes for the motor. It's heavy duty enough and industrial enough that the brushes are easily replaceable from the outside. Whew, that's a lot of static. So, remove the top part. Inside we got our chop saw. Uh, it's really pretty well packaged. It's completely surrounded by foam. Okay, so here's our saw. Um, it comes with two Allen keys. The first is smaller to remove this. This uh, cover slides up and off and then allows you to remove uh, and change out the blade. I will bring out the Harbor, Harbor Freight abrasive saw and uh, we'll take it you know, side by side. But so this base right here, this part right here, is a very solid cast iron. Um, I would say the casting is pretty rough. The paint is uh, kind of shit a little bit. Um, not the best process ever, but in terms of keeping everything kind of safe, I don't really have too many complaints. Now in the back there is a lock knob. Uh, it's not very big, which is kind of weird and it's kind of plasticky. It's uh, this guy right back here. That's not really the, the best looking feature I've ever seen. Right in here, this is your lockout. So when you uh, want to change the blade, you push this in. Uh, into a peg hole and it locks it out. Now, you've got a safety lockout right here on your handle and of course the trigger up here. And as you can see, uh, there's a adjustment right here for where it stops. The other thing I really like is this is really nice and heavy cast. These are big, uh, as you'll see on the Harbor Freight one, they're like half the size. This is a nice big piece, this is a piece of metal, nice big surface area. Uh, it allows you to get quite a bit of clamping force, even at kind of a weird angle if you need to. Uh, back in here, if we rotate, take a look in here, uh, it allows up to 45 degrees of adjustment. It's got what appears to be a quick adjuster, so you do that and then you can change, change the angle on it. Right there is perfect zero, you just take this adjuster and, and crank it down like that. Um, the blade that's in here is a 72 teeth per unit. As you can see, it's got, it's got these nice little uh, stress reliefs, it's got the nice little carbide tips. Uh, and this is designed for mild steel. There's a sticker right here that says only cut uh, less than one inch solid bar. Take a better look at this side. You got a big old motor right here, it's three and three eighths horsepower, spins at 1450 RPM. Uh, and the reason you can't just stick one of these blades on an abrasive saw is they use a much uh, weaker motor. The main cost of this unit right here is this motor, is the motor and the blade. A quality 14 inch blade will send you back 50, 60 dollars. This is the knob I was talking about, you gotta push down and pull this out like that. This is really the only thing on here that's really kind of cheap and flimsy and I don't particularly care for it. It's real sturdy, 
Uh, all the screws are in, are nice and tight. The only piece of assembly was installing this little knob right here. This is what was in that bag. Uh, right here on the side of the motor, there's a uh, <clears throat> basic instructions for, for your maximum depth. Uh, it looks like it cuts up to four and three quarter angle iron, four and an eighth for uh, basically four inch for square tube. And it can do, if it's like a smaller, like a rectangle piece of tube, it can do up to five inches. So here's just a real basic side-by-side -side of the Harbor Freight 14-inch uh, abrasive and our brand new Northern Tool uh, cold cut saw. You can immediately kind of see the differences between these two guys. This whole base is just stamped steel. This is real thick cast uh, iron. Um, again, here everything is cast iron. You can see this this piece right here, this backing plate's probably what, it's four fingers. Whereas the backing plate over here is maybe two and a half. So it's smaller, um, the, the press is a little wimpier. Everything everything about it is a little bit cheaper. Of course, this saw is only about $100. Uh, there isn't a horsepower rating on it, but I imagine it's somewhere in like the two horsepower range, I think. Uh, and this one spins at 3,500 RPM. Now, the really, the biggest advantage of going to one of these cold cut saws is while this blade will deflect, I mean, you can see me, you can see me wiggle this blade quite a bit. Uh, this blade right here, the blade itself doesn't really wiggle and when it's spinning, it doesn't deflect very much. That's kind of the, the, the big picture difference of what you get for $200 versus what you get for $100 and uh, kind of, you know, what you, what you can expect. So one thing I noticed just spinning it up for the first time, it's, it's kind of a loud saw, at least my bearings seem pretty loud, they'll probably break in over time. But here's just a piece of random square tube, it's not a real thick wall. That just goes through like butter and this isn't, this isn't even hot and you can see there's little chips of metal everywhere. And that's how this saw works, is it takes off a little chip at a time. Uh, rather than kind of like grinding or burning its way through it. You can see that it is completely flush. Leaves a really, really nice finish. All right guys, so at this point we've done probably 100 to 150 cuts with our chop saw here. First impression is that I am very impressed. Uh, every time I buy one of these new tools that I've seen other people use for years and years and years, I'm always like, man, why did it take me so long to get this thing? It's like, granted, we've mostly done uh, tube and square tube and angle iron, but this thing just goes through it like butter. And so uh, it's really easy to clean up. You just hit it with a little compressed air. And as you can see, even though I've done all these cuts, there's only a little bit of wear here on the, uh, the holder plate um, and, and the base is a little dusty. But really other than that, this thing has held up really well. The finish on this black is pretty good. I, uh, I dropped it on the ground the other day. It's super solid. The mechanism is really nice. It's a really positive feel when you when you pull down on it. Really, the only the only downside of this saw, and you should be wearing protection anyway, is you really need ear protection when running this thing. It's it's really loud. The process of cutting the metal is really loud uh, to the point where it, it really kind of hurts a little bit. And so you definitely want to be having air protection around, but there are so many advantages to this thing. Um, it does really straight, really nice cuts. It makes mitering two pieces of steel together like this, two pieces of box tube together like this really easy because it really holds the angle very clearly. You don't get any deflection. The other, only other downside is I really still don't like this locking, unlocking knob that's on here. Um, it's, it's hard to get to with gloves. It's kind of, it doesn't have a real good positive feel and I feel like it probably won't last. All in all, 200 bucks, money really well spent. I'm very happy. I would give this tool uh, on the max scale probably an eight out of 10. It's heavy and big, and but it does a really good job. And so that's why it gets an eight out of 10. Like I said, if you're gonna go out and buy this, keep an eye on the Northern Tool coupon catalog. A lot of times you can put in like a little filler item like the, uh, the magnet I got. Great tool. Don't hesitate to throw your money down on it. If you like this video, please subscribe. Hit the thumbs up like button uh, down there at the bottom of your screen. Uh, follow me on Snapchat, Instagram, Facebook, everything at MaxWorks. Uh, I love to hear from you guys. Let me know what you think. That's all I got for you guys. Peace.